第二十七对表演的题目是 Where is Starry Night？ 计时开始。It is so exciting to see the most famous painting, Starry Night. The colors are vibrant, even though it's night. I wish I could live in Van Gogh's era and be able to see such clear and beautiful view. You know, seldom do we see the gorgeous night sky nowadays. You bet. Air pollution not only prevents us from having a clear view, also from a thick haze, which does harm to our health. That's why we are here to worship Van Gogh. He really is good at depicting Mother Nature. I love his landscape painting. Yeah. His circular broad strokes created a nice sky filled with swirling clouds and eddies of stars. It seems that everything is moving. Whoops! Moving? What's wrong? Ah! We're going to fall into the painting! Ah! ah help! Jesus Christ! He must be Van Gogh. 
I guess you wanted to use his paintbrushes to keep the beauty of nature before it disappeared. No matter what our nationality is, our dream of Sari Night is the same. We endeavor to restore it. Thanks to Taiwan's new southbound policy, people in Asia can band together. We won't let you down, Mr. Rango. The young in Asia, I, the Taiwanese, I, an Indonesian, I, a Filipino, we will try our best to save the earth. Thank you. New Vision Creative Method Brilliant Future. Action! What's up? I'm Jacqueline! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys didn't know, a couple months ago I went out to Thailand and did my favorite video in the agriculture development. And I ended up getting the 1 million subscriber flag from YouTube. Remember to watch the videos at the end. They're bonus! Guess what? I'm in Thailand with Austin, and I'm in my Grammy's house. Wow! It's really my first time to eat family dinner in Thailand. I'm so excited! Hold up. Where's my favorite food? Your favorite food? Mm. Ah! Do you mean... This one? Ew. It smells oh. terrific, isn't it? Jacqueline and Austin go back to Grandma's house in Thailand. Hi, Grammy, I'm back! Oh, Jacqueline! Look at this! Oh my god, it's Thai Edwin! It's my favorite! Thanks to the bottles, our front harvest becomes more and more! Yay! Wow, Fermon probably works! And there's a good news for us. What kind of news? Thai infant will soon be introduced in Taiwan and we can 
Diverse Cultures Innovative Mission 计时开始 It's a beautiful starry night There's fragrance of jasmine in the air Oh mighty God How I wish my dear king could have time to appreciate the beauty of natural Instead of being trapped in country affairs day in and day out My dear queen how beautiful the batik is! There are numerous stars and jasmines in this piece of cloth. You are always busy with the people's affairs. When I look up to the sky and pray for you, there are all stars in my eyes. When I look down and miss you, the fragrance of jasmine brings peace to my mind. I suddenly found this piece of batik heartwarming. Through this piece of cloth, I see the same stars in your eyes and feel the same peace wrought with the fragrance of jasmine. It also reminds me of the batik you used to wrap our little girl in and the batik that you prepared for our daughter when she got married. Indeed, the batik coming all our best wishes for our beloved. Intriguing! I am fascinated by the legend and the underlying message of batik. Me too. I did not expect a piece of batik could convey such a deep affection. That's why the Indonesian batik festival can attract so many people. How I wish our indigo dyeing could be just as popular. Indigo dyeing? You mean the dyeing technique widely used in the Hakka culture in Taiwan? Indeed. I am a Taiwanese. I came here to seek inspiration and try to find a new way to promote our indigo dyeing. And you? I am also from Taiwan. I'm a YouTuber. I publish traveling videos with a purpose of exploring diverse cultures in the world. I found batik interesting, but talking with you reminds me of the precious value of indigo dyeing. What you discuss sounds interesting. Would you mind telling us more about indigo dyeing? Sure. The technique of indigo dyeing has been practiced by our ancestors for centuries. We Hakka people believe in the third of death and make good use of everything we have, including the indigo plant. So, indigo dye is made with the natural dye attracted from the indigo plants? Exactly. Fragments dyed in different indigo shapes show the rustic beauty of Hakka culture and spirit. It seems indigo dyeing is quite different from a batik. Even though both are dyeing techniques, in batik, we use various colors and patterns to express our love and wishes for our beloved. And every pattern is designed to incorporate deep meaning closely related to our philosophies of life. No wonder batik has been recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. If only our method can receive such honor and recognition. Hey, don't be frustrated. Don't you know that there are more and more people engaging in the innovation in design of indigo dye? What do you mean? Look, there is the indigo dye again, with which we Taiwanese people won the Red Dot Design Award. Wait, I have an impression of that indigo dye clock. It won a nomination in New York Design Award last year. And there's already an indigo dyeing festival in Taiwan. You bet. Innovation and creation can be the best way to enhance the 
value of culture and to promote us as well. Hey, I've got a great idea. How about we hold an exhibition every year for culture exchange? In the exhibition, visitors can see both our techniques and products. In this way, we break down the silos and make good use of experience and resource and to promote our customs. I can't agree with you more. With our experience and your innovation, we can make our festival much more diverse and valuable. I can use my YouTube channel to attract people's attention, to visit the exhibition, appreciate the beauty of both batik and indigo dyeing, and make the culture sustainable. One world, diverse cultures. With cooperation, we can promote our local causes, protect cultural heritage, and to create innovative vision. Sounds great! Dream Big, Look Boundlessly, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Emma Show! I greatly admire the achievement of our guests tonight. They set up an environmental technology company, producing many amazing products. Now, please welcome Samar Azu and Dr.
benefited a lot from this program. He allowed me to step out of Taiwan, making a difference to the world. I think you're a wonderful team. Congrats again on your company's award. It's so outstanding. Thank, Thank you. you. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, please check out Taiwanese South Bonds program. Let's hear from them again. Sabor, Azu, and Dr. Plastics. Thanks for coming. To clean water, a new southbound policy initiative. Dad, come on! What is this? This is a job fair organized by the city government. The new stand there are a lot of openings for jobs abroad. Hey, Ian. Oh, hi, Dad. Dad, he's my classmate from the university. Nice to meet you. Like you learn. 
Yes, Dad, she sure was. My mom also insisted I don't how to speak Bahasa. As a matter of fact, Anna and I have signed up for Thai language classes just to be able to take advantage of the numerous opportunities provided by the different cooperation programs for the Southbound policy. Come, let's go home and tell mother the good news. My daughter and her friend and her friend are Southbound. and business opportunities. Be part of the growth in the region. We, we want you. The Adventure Day variant of the is Rising Green Economy Aid. Hey, come look at the robotic arm that I designed. It can accurately pick up things. My colleagues and I want to develop more delicate devices on it to help the world. Wow, looks amazing. If you can make it, we can cooperate and sell your products on my electronic platform. And making a fortune is not far away. Hello, Joanna. Hey, Sean. How's it going? We haven't caught, we haven't caught up for a long time. How are you and Annie? We're fine here. I'm thinking about inviting you and Angel to Vietnam and try our high-tech food and vegetables. High-tech food and vegetables? Sounds great! I'm with Angel right now. We can't wait to see you and Annie. System, we can even make adjustment by remote controlling. See, I'm irrigating now. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Some vegetables for you and me. I really love this new drip irrigation equipment, especially with the smart sensor. I don't feel thirsty anymore. Water. Here comes the water. Vegetables for you. You. Vegetables for me. Me. Some vegetables for you, you and me. of workers 
back to the land. It seems that machines and technology both play key roles in agriculture. However, we still need people to bring it all together. Thus, I think I can set up a digital farming platform, which makes the most innovative experts in every region optimize everything. That's a great idea. Vietnam is bursting at the scene with natural resources, and Taiwan is the center of the fruit and vegetables of the world, and is full of high technology. With the two countries' cooperation, we can benefit from each other. Technology, agriculture, sustainability, cooperation, rising green, count me in. The boy's dream. And have a world-changing idea in mind? We connect students with mind the like WPSA, visit us at Taipei. Pause. And no skip. No more killing. No more cruelty! Live from Manila, where the protest against our animal for dissection is on its third day. Let's talk to one of the medical students here protesting. I have with me Joseph Santos. Hi, what are you doing here today? We are here to end animal dissections. As a Filipino medical student, we know anatomy is vital. However, as a representative of the new generation of medical students, it's my dream that virtual reality can take the place of animals. And have a world-changing idea in mind? We connect students with mind alike. WPSA, visit us at Taipei. Pause. Ads again. Oh, skip. So what message do you have to all our viewers out there? Medical experiments should be done to save lives. Let's save lives, not destroy lives. It's time to heal, not kill. Yeah! No more animal killing for medical research. But I wonder how I can help. Wait, that, that ad, that woman in the ad, she said something about connecting students? I'm gonna go find them. Ellen DeGeneres show. No way! Yes, 
have heard about a beer art machine you've created. We are doing a show on young people making a difference in this world. Would your team like to guess on our show? Yes, of course! See you soon! How do you call an animal that you keep in your car? A carpet! Haha, <laughs> speaking of animals, I want to invite my new friends from Taiwan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. They were talking about their new invention. This machine is to be used as a replacement for animal dissection. For helping change in the world, here's a check for 100,000 US dollars. Thank you, thank you so much. We can, make, we can use this money and make more beyond machines. It's for the animals. You guys are phenomenal. Is there anything else you guys want to share? Well, the project started in Taiwan with the help of NSB countries. So, to quote President Tsai Ing-wen, Taiwan can help Asia. And Asia can help Taiwan. But together, we, as a new generation, can help the world. Trash to Cash. I can't wait for the people that are coming today on their working holiday. Hello. Hi. Oh, you are? I'm Sunny from Taiwan, and these are my friends from the southbound countries. We're here for the working holidays. This is Yvette. Jade from Vienna. Welcome to Taiwan. Aiden, Thailand. Nice to meet you. Don't feel shy, kids. Make yourselves at home. Excuse me, but what are you going to do with these leftover crops right here? Oh, you mean these? Well, consumers don't buy them because they think they're too ugly. My friends in Brunei and Indonesia also suffer from the same problem. We spend so much time every year on these crops, but they just end up getting wasted on the field. Well, there's got to be a solution. Can't these food waste be used somewhere else? You know what? Don't worry, Aiden. I will try to find a solution eventually. Now, can you guys help me? The tools are over there. Okay. Sure, yes. Let's 
try it out. Okay. Yes. Aha! Whoa! As Whoa. you can see, the stove is powered by methane gas produced by the bacteria as they digest the food waste. Plus, the compost will end up here. This, this is incredible! Yes! yes. I want to share this technology with my friends in southbound countries. Wait, but I don't think technology is the issue. The problem is people aren't aware of it. What can we do about this? How about building a web page? Oh. Well, that's a great idea. We can build a website to educate people on how to utilize food waste. Let's, Let's do, do it. it.
congratulations, Wilson. For what? For not being eaten by Nian So. Nian So? What was that? New Year's Monster! <laughs> okay, New Year's Monster. Don't worry, we are sending firecrackers to scare it out. That's an awesome story. And what is your mom doing? She seems to like make a mistake. Mom, Wilson said that you put the worm upside down. Morning, Wilson. In fact, that's not a mistake. In Chinese, people put that word upside down means spring is coming. Here's your lucky money. Thank you so much. Oh, where's my lucky money? Already got one last night. Okay. We should collect for the coming year and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I do love Taiwan and everything here. But I'm going to leave next week. Why? I, I'm still waiting for interesting stories. Because of my dad's business. I had to help him. I think I need to tell Anna in person. Two Taiwanese high school students, Amy and Chris, volunteered in Thailand teaching Mandarin Chinese. Their students were local junior high school kids who have Chinese cultural heritage. As the two Taiwanese high school students' summer vacation came to an end, their farewell to the little pals got emotional. Let's keep in touch. 
Actually, the shortage of long-term volunteers in Thailand is too big a problem for us to solve as two college students. Why do you have so much hope? What? I thought we were on the same page. No, it's not even possible. I'm so disappointed in you. Why are you giving up so easily? We will never make it. The shortage of long-term volunteers is beyond our reach. Stop! There must be a way to solve it. Let me think. Oh, my mom's friend is working at Overseas Community Affairs Council in Thailand where they provide educational resources to locals. I believe they can help us come up with the solutions to it. Okay, fine. Introductory rite or greeting by the priest. Then it will be the procession of the priest and the coffin. Oh, by the way, the priest will also sprinkle holy water during the procession. Then it will be the opening song, prayers, and reading of the holy rosary. Wait, what is the purpose of reading the holy rosary? Okay, so it is used to ask for God to show forgiveness and hoping God could embrace their souls. After that, it will be the Holy Communion, which is also called the Mass, 
Then, more prayers. Hey, then what's next? Okay, coffin will be buried and prayers will be said at the graveside. Well, Jackie, I remember that you're a Hindus. How about your religion when it comes to your funeral? Okay, well, in Hinduism, we don't believe in the resurrection of the material body. We believe that upon death, the soul which truly represented the person has already departed or detached. The body has no significance, so, therefore, no attempt is made to preserve it. Uh, how do you deal with a dead body? Oh, um, well, some Hindus do bury their dead, but the most common practice is to burn the body, collect the ashes, and on the fourth day, disperse the ashes in a sacred body of water or other important places to the deceased. What about you, Cora? Buddhism advocates cremation because it is believed that the soul will leave the body after the death. And Buddhism believes that the best way to commemorate the deceased is to do good deeds for them. Teacher, how about you? Well, unlike you guys, the way we deal with a body must be buried. Cremation is not allowed in our culture because we believe that cremate a body is a such punishment to the deceased and it is very disrespectful to them. Then, when Muslim pass away, the soul should go through the last judgment. And the last judgment will determine whether they should go to heaven or the hell. How about you, William? Oh, similar to Sister Eric, we Catholics believe after a person passed away, our soul will be brought to the trial to decide whether we are guilty people or that we are worth for sin in heaven and bathe under the joy of God forever. Well, these are some of the traditions in the Catholic funeral. Wow, thanks for your sharing. Although we are different in a way to show respect to the disease, we should respect all the religions to avoid unnecessary conflicts. As the old saying goes, we Rome do as the Romans do. We should all respect all the religions from all over the world. Thank you. Connect Asia Cross Taiwan. You see that well over there? That was the place that your mom used to put when she was a kid. Yeah, she told me all about it in her stories. I still can't believe that she has gone to Taiwan for more than 20 years. When you get back to the village, let's reinforce the foundation of school. Yeah, it looks a bit shaky. We should make it safe for the students. Is that your hope? No way, Sarah there, Jakarta. I'll catch you later. Okay, see you in a bit. How is that you are here in Indonesia? I'm working as an overseas volunteer for Taiwan Aid, Alliance International Development. I help them to build a new school so they could be more connected to the world. How about you? I'm sponsored by cultivation program for second generation new resident to reacquaint and also connecting my cultural heritage. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know you were a part of Indonesia. I did try my best to play, but it wasn't easy. Hey. Don't get me wrong, but you look smarter than you say. What? Oh, just a joke. I was your mom, okay? This is my village. It's called Anbong, the capital city of Maluku province. I want to show this video to the people in Taiwan since we don't know the real Indonesia. Come, come, my child. Let's have some lunch. Okay, Grandma. Wait a minute. I know this dish. Is this fun to do? Good girl, how do you know? Mom used to cook this dish all the time back in Taiwan, but she didn't add all the different spices in a jar. She put sticky rice instead. Hmm, sounds yummy. I guess that's why interesting way to make this dish. It's the only Indonesian dish that she makes well. Tanner, if you want to take them back to town with me, I think Mom will love that. Sure, that's enough talk. Let's take it. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Why are you eating? We don't buy the chopsticks at all. When I saw Bajuzu, I could help her remember that Mom used to eat with her hand whenever she cooked this dish. But Dad would say, we are now Chinese. Use the Chinese way. Oh my. Sometimes I saw Mom sobbing alone. I wanted to comfort her, but I can't because I don't lose part of my heritage at all. All my life being a Taiwanese, and now I want to be an Indonesian. This is why I applied for New York City Cultivation Program to come back to learn and experience in Indonesia. So, I will eat this dish in Indonesian way. If 
But on the other hand, there is a theme with a kind of message that you want to present to the audience. So I think that's probably the most challenging aspect of this kind of performance. And I think everyone did very, very well in their attempt to bridge these two things, particularly because the theme is very limited, very difficult theme, because it's a government initiative that you have to talk about. And it's hard to know how to talk about it. Are we supposed to advertise it and agree with it? Are we supposed to criticize it? Are we supposed to comment on it? And that creates a lot of difficulty, I think, for every team to figure out how to present this go south policy in a drama. It's extremely difficult. And I think lastly, I want to say the biggest problem that most teams had was one of projection. Again, you don't have a microphone. I have a microphone now. And therefore, I can speak calmly and quietly and so on. But if I take this microphone away, in a room like this, I have to scream for people to hear me. And I always have to be facing the front. So if I'm involved in a dramatic scene with people with me, I can't look at them because then you won't be able to hear me. So there has to be, the teams have to very carefully think about projecting outward since there's no microphone. Otherwise, I think the performances were wonderful. I think everyone was terrific. And I hope everyone also had a good time. That's what's important. And again, I apologize that not everyone will come back tomorrow for the next round. OK, thank you very much. I think in terms of English ability and creativity, I believe that you guys have achieved much better than I could when I was a senior high school student. So I could not say that uh, you should do this or do that to improve your uh, performance. Also, I feel that it's very happy for me to see many of you focus on really important issues, such as environmental protection, medical care, cultural exchange, and economic development. I do believe it is re uh, really relevant to all human beings. I know many of us are proud of our country, our national flag, and all the nice quality we have and we are eager to share all the good things we have with foreign friends. However, I do not think we should expect foreigners always say thank you Taiwan to us. We don't think we can expect that. Even when we thought we did contribute a lot to them. I noticed that our teams focus on Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, and India or Myanmar. However, nobody talks about Singapore. What's the reason? I guess maybe because we know that Singapore is a developed country, it's even more advanced than us, so they do not need our help, right? So in our mindset, we go south to help people. If so, so I think we need to avoid some potential risk. It is not a bad idea to go abroad to help people in need, but the humble way to achieve our goal is to go to foreign land to listen and to learn, not to go there and to teach and to educate and to tell them what to do. And I think that could be better. If foreign people realize that we do care about their life, we do care about their interests, and then they will ask you to tell them about what you do in Taiwan. And I think that's a chance for us to share our experience with them and to make foreign friends. That's uh, one thing I would like to share with you. Thank you very much and congratulations. Today, 
来可以来参加明天的团体英语演讲比赛。接下来公布是按序号而不按成绩的顺序来公布。入围的队伍：一号。